Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Krina Ludmila Christian. I would like to show you how I do the design for the cover of my paperback book. So at the moment we are in Canva and the way you start doing a design for a cover, either paperback or print, uh, either paperback or ebook, you go to create design you do custom dimensions you also have uh, various um, designs here already done available in canva but if you want to do a custom dimension for your particular size of book you have to do this you add the width the height and i did it in inches so the book we're going to work on today uh, is 8.5 oh, with 8.5 inches so yeah, when as soon as you put the numbers in, so eight point five, eight point five, oh, sorry, pixels, my mistake. So eight point five, eight point five inches, and then you press create new design. Um, I've already got the design done because I've done the cover for my various books. Um, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. <laughs> let me show you. So let's go to this one because you have all designs. So I'm going to do this one because I'm doing the German cover. So as you can see here, I also have other covers of the same book. Uh, my book is currently available in five languages and today I will just be sorting out the paperback cover as mentioned at the beginning of the video so as you can see I have the title in German <laughs> and the cover, the front cover and the back cover is in French because that's the last uh, cover I did <laughs> so I will show you I will. Uh, it's very simple, really, very simple. So I'm just removing. Well, actually, let me try something. So I'll just remove this bit. I've already copied the text from my translator, my German translator named Hannah. I'm just gonna paste it in, and now I'm gonna do a little rest. So. <laughs> the German is very strange because I barely understand it so I'm just uh, I mean I barely understand it I don't speak German at all but obviously since I know the blurb and um, things like that I can uh, look certain words up and or guide myself <laughs> um, let's see I need to do the Okay, um, normally I would choose this option, but because we're doing on the, we're working on the cover and not the, um, the interior, we don't need that to be in that kind of alignment, because otherwise it's going to have this random space, and we don't need that on the back cover at all, so it has to be this one. Or if you want central, obviously, but I already chose for my design the left uh, hand. Okay, so... Um, okay, the left hand. <laughs> so, let's just check because there's a bit of weird space here. Oh, no. Okay, that's... Uh, okay, so I just need to change something because I noticed... <laughs> she mean missed my name, my letter from my name um, surprisingly okay so just wanna make sure as, as I said I don't speak German and um, yeah okay so a little bit Um, the reason why there's some space here is because you need it for the ISBN 
because I'm publishing my book with the Amazon KDP uh, they provide an ISBN obviously you can buy an ISBN if you want but I, with all my books I have prov uh, chosen an ISBN from them because it's free so okay let's see let's need to do this as well mm, obviously now this is too big so I think it's too big because 21 was selected I'm gonna check see if it's yeah, it's the right font size hmm so maybe maybe German just takes a little bit more room hmm just wanna be careful I don't put the text too high above or like as, it, as it's here because it might get cut off when the book is printed so okay let's Hmm. I didn't have this problem with the other covers. The text fitted in perfectly. So let's see. Okay. Pardon me, I just sneezed. I'm not sure if you could hear me. Um, okay, now this is too small and I don't like it. Um, the the reason why I'm choosing a bigger font is because the book also has a larger font so kids in general but everyone has an easy time reading the font I'll try to make the line height smaller that might help I'm gonna make it one point okay. one point three maybe mm. I think that might be okay. No, actually, I'm gonna make it smaller. One point two, maybe. Yeah, I think this seems perfect. Got the other two sides, more or less. As long as I have enough room in this area, obviously there can be more text here, but not here here we need room for the ISBN okay so now <laughs> obviously this is done okay so now that we have finished the design I'm pretty happy with how it looks um, I'm going to show you how to download the file that you need for Amazon KDP so for, um, for the paperback cover you need uh, for the paperback book you need a PDF file for the cover as well as for the manuscript so we're going to do best quality and I'm going to select PDF print it asks you which page you want obviously I have six pages because I have five well there's six designs but it's uh, six five languages at the moment the Portuguese is going to be the sixth I must have another cover when I was still figuring out the design I wanted so let's select page 6, which is the last page with the German design, press done, and then you have to press download, now very simple, and now go, you have to wait for the design to finish downloading, go and show me folder, we have here, yeah, we have a PDF here, this is the file we, we want. So you can see, um, see, you can click in, see the quality, um, so you see the, the title has a little bit of a shadow, so if the way you do that, basically, if you don't know, you just do two texts, um, so one of them is grey, well, it's actually black I think and the, the opacity is at 50 and the other one is as you can see very well orange <laughs> so yeah this is a PDF if you want to add text you can you see on the left side you can add text press here 
you will have multiple options uh, you have photos you can select whatever photographs you want obviously these are are from canvas but you can upload your own pictures to put in here um so yeah the, the font i chosen for my for this book is uh, open dyslexic which is a very easy to read font and easy on the eyes so i just opened um, the kindle file the kindle cover which as you can see is square so yeah so um this is the i wanted to show you how the english version is <laughs> because mm, many of you who will be watching this video probably don't um speak uh, german <laughs> so the cover says discover the no cover the front the back cover says discover the story of a boy his best friend a monster and a dream that lives the world to a higher place passion the blue bicycle is a wonderful story about friendship and resilience written by author krina ludmila christia with lovely watercolor illustrations by artist rianon thomas this story will put a smile on your face and even make you and your little ones discuss fun but also painful subjects such as diabetes type 1 so this is the english version of course but let's go back to the to the german cover so i would like to make a few mentions give you a few tips um, just make sure when you're designing your cover that the edges are not containing something very very important because with any printing company uh, KDP included the printing is not always a hundred percent exact so things might get cropped a bit my bit might get cut, cut sometimes closer or you know you know what I mean so just be careful as you can see I have my B here uh, this is a lesson I learned I mean I was aware of this but I forgot to mention it to the illustrator because she earlier did a de design of the cover or a scene in which the bee was closer to the bike and I thought I didn't think she wanted to change the, the placement of the bee for the final cover so yeah um, anyway I should it was my fault I should have mentioned it to her just to make sure because she had so much on her mind to do for <laughs> this book so many details to capture and she did a wonderful job so yeah just keep in mind when you're doing your design or you have your illustrator to the to the illustrations make sure uh, the, the illustrator is not including something that's essential for the scene because it might get cut off the cover and the interior as well because the interior pages have to get cut as well so just make sure you're careful with that obviously this is not a big issue because the it, it will only get clipped a bit or the wings will only get clipped a bit so that's not a big issue but imagine if you included the title here it would get chopped off so that's not good <laughs> um, so yeah I hope you found this useful if you have any questions please um, let me know in the comments below so yeah the book is going to be the German edition is 99p at the moment it will soon go back to 299 as the other editions but yeah if you want to grab it now is the time <laughs> so uh, yeah I, again i hope you found this useful if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible one more thing i'm not sure if because my first clip when i was recording got cut off after 10 minutes i'm not sure if it got recorded I wanted to show you what you can do in case you're doing translation as I am doing or if you have for yeah especially for translations say you have the English version and you wanna make it into French Romanian whatever language or if you have a book um, design that you want to use again for a different book but you want to use the same dimensions and everything you just have to replace the text and the images what you have to do instead of creating a new design which would waste you a lot a lot of time 
simply go to so you go to file you go to make a copy and once you select that it will make a copy obviously it's self-explanatory of the it will make a copy of the design and then you can put in all your new information something i did i wasn't aware simply because i didn't really need it as much with my other books because I, I designed my novel and my collection of stories in Scrivener which is very good software to design text but obviously for cover you can do this in Canva and if it's a kids picture book it's much better I found it in my experience to use this because the design of my kids picture books is quite simple I have text on one page and uh, like on the left on the left side and the images the illustrations are on the right side and that's kind of how it goes so i don't have a full image and then there's text on top um i found it works better for me for the stories i have at the moment for large print books you need from 16 above to be included to be considered a large print book the reason why i did that is because it's easier on the eyes and people who have trouble reading small font they will find that very useful and for kids as well it encourages them to read more because if they have small fonts it's just tiring and they feel a bit maybe they can't read the words easily it might make them a bit feel anxious about it and they might not enjoy the experience so the easier we make it for them we encourage them to read so yeah that's just an extra tip Thank you so much for listening to this. I hope you found it useful. So yeah, I'm waiting for your comments in the section below. Have a lovely, lovely day. Take care.